Big Don Bano, you on Taco Talk TV. Big Don, man. This nigga Taco Tuesday sneaking yeah, sneak the interview. It's Lil Lord. It's Alex. Buddy Murder. <laughs> Young Lord, man. Go to John Rich, pay some. Big Riff, bitch. Big Flop, Lane Sam. That's Baby Up, aka Slim Rich. And why is your ID? It's 3 0. Lil Boy, I need him. It's K Prime. Tune in the voice of the youth. Taco Talk TV, hey, you know what the fuck hey, it is. What's your thoughts on the streets being watered down? Water down like how though. Beefing, tipping, Instagram police, bitch ass niggas. Oh, it's a lot of that. It's a lot of that, but it always been that. But see, it's a lot of goofy shit. Oh, a lot of social media shit. You feel me? Like so, you see it, you seeing it more. Yeah. But that shit always been around. You think that it is more so in the way now, or is it just? I mean, it ain't in my way. Respect. It ain't in my circle. It ain't in my element. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you hear, <coughs> when you hear, fake it till you make it. What do you think? You can't fake it no more for real. Yeah. Yeah. They want the real. Yeah. You gotta give them the real. Okay. Yeah. Respect. And um, what's the biggest sacrifice you made so far related to music? The biggest sacrifice. I don't know. I ain't make just really taking my time out, putting my effort into my my you know my time, my money, everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Respect. And can you think of somebody whose hustle inspires you? From a movie, from a song. Shit, my hustle inspired me. My 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 man hustle inspired me. Respect. Yeah, I see them doing good. You know what I'm saying? That shit inspired me. Yeah. And, and how did you build yourself from like zero to hero? You know what I'm saying? Like you was probably known in your household, you know what I'm saying? But now you know all over the city, maybe even in some other states. Yeah. How did you build yourself up from the start to now? It was grinding. Yeah. Grinding, man. Putting the effort in, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, like, I've always been the same, same nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was just... Putting the effort into it. What's networking. What's some of the steps that it took uh, outside of networking? You know what I'm saying? To really build yourself up so that, like, you could really see the fruits of your labor. See, that's what it takes. A lot of networking. Yeah. Knowing people, you know what I'm saying? And getting people to, you know what I'm saying? Put they, you know, believe in what you believe in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Respect. Now, now when we talk about Crown Me, are you a rapper? Or are you a hustler? I'm, I'm, I'm both. Nah, but if you had to pick one, though. What you mean? Like, I feel like a rapper, you just gonna be in the studio, music videos, features, concerts, right? Nah, I'm you doing a hustler, everything. you getting money all day, every day. I'm doing everything. Okay, yeah. so a hustler before a rapper. Yeah. Respect. You gotta get some paper. And, and, you, gotta, you gotta pay for it. Yeah, I'm independent. Yeah. You feel me? I got it, you know. Respect. Yeah. Now, did you did you link up with Cruddy Murder through Mike James? Yeah. Murder Respect. Through Mike. How did that How did that come about? Cause you you said that you go through and you check people resumes, right? Before you yeah. do a song with them. Yeah. What's some of the stuff that's gonna make you be like, oh yeah, bro, I can't get a song, not for murder, but yeah. for anybody else, about like, oh, yeah, bro, not the one. I mean, just if I hear anything like. You. Yeah, you can't be hot, you can't be, you know, wild Respect. nigga, you can yeah. you know. But that's what I'm saying. You gotta saying. be a stand-up man, you gotta be on him. Yeah. You know. Because I'm pretty sure there's it's plenty of other rappers that are really be excited to have a feature with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Probably can't get to you, though, can't contact you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if the bread was there, they just can't yeah. contact you. Yeah. I don't be like doing something great, but I ain't going to... Out of, out of the features that you put, I think, was Murder Joint the only joint on there or was it one more? Uh, it was him and Boog on there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah shout what, out Duffel Bag. What, um, shout out Duffel Bag, Boog, what, what made you pick them two for the features? You know what I'm saying? Boog, that's my brother. And, it, you know, at the time, I wanted to put back door on them, you know, on the tape. Yeah. But, um... Mike James, he had to get him to record it, you know what I'm saying? So I was going to finish it, but he like, man, he was about to record him. So he just recorded him, and that's how it went. 
what's your what's your process working with Mike James like? Like I know he did a couple of your couple of your songs over Crown Me and just a couple of songs for you in general. Yeah. What how did y'all meet? Yeah. Yeah. Real real tap then. People not hip to Mike James, like yeah. give him the credit and respect like he owed yeah. for real, for real. But like nah. how did you tap in with him? That man a goat. I yeah. tap down with him through two easy black. Okay. Shout out to black, my brother. That's how I met my Jane. And and how did that work? Cause I met two easy black breaks ago. Yeah. But when I met him, he wasn't with OTD. Yeah. Now he with OTD. Yeah. What's going on? Well, he been. We always had a little relationship. You know. Okay. I used to, you know, be on their side. You yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so we always had a little relationship, but. Man, brother, stay close. Yeah. You know what I'm Respect. Do you think about some of the stuff that you sit back and you on your phone watching on Instagram happening in the DMV, but it don't have nothing to do with you? Like, how you feel about stuff like that? Like, in, in, in what aspect? Like, when, stuff like what happened? Uh, beef, bed TV, somebody motherfucking joke of the day on Instagram. I mean, I, 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 I see it. You know, I see everything. But. Yeah. I don't, that don't really be my business, you know what I'm saying? Respect. So I see, I laugh, I would, you know, I move on. Yeah, respect. And, and how did you master your versatilities with all these different flows? Because I think even on before Crown Me on, um, was it Indicted? Mm-hmm. You going through and going with hella different flows but they all crank like it ain't no bullshit. Like some niggas will try like sing and harmonize. Yeah. That shit would be trash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But some of your shit job be cranking when you really go through and yeah. letting really people know. Yeah. Yeah, that shit just came from me doing music. You was you know practicing I mean? these different flows or you'll be in there and be like, okay, this how I'm going to go yeah, about Yeah, that's just, yeah. Respect. Once I hear, I hit a beat. However, you know, I choose to go on it, that's how I'm going to go. How you come up with your with your your punchlines and your bars? Like, is it based That's, on what you doing, or you got some shit written down on your phone? No, I ain't got nothing written down. Cool. I don't write it out. I ain't got nothing written down. What What's wrong with writing? I just don't do it. I ain't okay. got the time. Respect. You'll damn near lose the idea before you. Yeah. Respect. You, know what I'm saying? you got a lot of voice memos on your phone. Nah, I ain't got no voice memos. Like, nah. five, what, only thing I like, got like on you, like record myself rapping? Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. all I got on there is music. Respect. You know what I'm saying? Respect. Respect. Um I think that's it. We can really hop into the five random questions.